A lot of people know Allison Stock for many things. Pole vaulting, being athletic, and acting are some of the things she is known for. She has worked with various brands and fought on various stages. Stock's power grew so great that she was seen as a natural force and a physical symbol of hard work and determination. This pole vaulter gives her fans something extra with all that she has done. Their name is Expert Vaulter. She was born to Alan and Cindy Stock. On March 22, 1989 in Newport Beach, California, which is known as the Starry Graveyard State. Allison's family worked in the sports business, so she was naturally good at sports as a child. She was really good at gymnastics and track and field from a very young age. David was her bigger brother and also an athlete. He was a national level youth gymnast. So at first she tried to make a living as a dancer. She was trying to follow in her brother's ways, but she had no idea that her path would change. We'll talk more about that soon. Before she moved from gymnastics to pole vaulting, she started her journey on the hot tracks at Newport Harbor High School. It was at this point that her love for the sport grew, and she did amazing athletic things that set many marks. The best jump she ever made was 3.81 meters, and in 2004, she won the U.S. title for girls ages 15 and 16. Stoke was just getting started. In 2004, she broke the American record for a high school student with a vault of 3.86 meters. She broke the record for a high school junior the next year, in 2005, when she jumped 4.11 meters. Also, her vaults were some of the best ever done by an American girl 15 or 16 years old. She won twice at the CF California State Meet. In her final year of high school, she had a new best of 4.14 meters and was ranked second in the country for high school events. In that year, she came in ninth at the National Youth Olympics. So, pictures of Allison went popular on the internet when she was only 17. It made her famous overnight. How did these pictures get made? A Californian track and field website took pictures of stock participating in New York early in 2007. The pictures were then posted online with the caption pole vaulting is sexy, barely legal, which made fun of Stock's good looks. In the picture, she was holding a pole and fiddling with her hair, as if she were ready for the battle to begin. When a tribute website with many pictures of Stock performing in the pole vault competition went live, it impressed many social media fan groups and gained thousands of followers. Stock had no idea that this picture would cause such a big argument. The picture was shared and published on many blogs, websites, and social media sites. In just a few weeks, her pictures were so popular that they were shared on many websites and finally got attention from the biggest news outlets in the United States. The shot was talked about in the Los Angeles Times, the Washington Post, and the New York Times. Then the picture went viral around the world. The picture was talked about by the BBC, the Australian Daily, the Sydney Morning Herald, and the German Weekly Der Spiegel. There was a dark price to fame, though, and it cost her job. The shots that made her famous were now a huge problem. Allison all of a sudden found herself being watched and judged by people she didn't know online. They said things about her hairdo, clothes, and everything else. Things got worse. Her private information was found on the internet. Soon, she got unwanted attention from people who sent her emails and texts she didn't ask for. Some of these emails were sexual slurs and threats. The invasion of her privacy led to a heated debate about whether it is moral to share private pictures without permission. Instantly, Stoke was the target of online bullying and objectification, with many people commenting on how she looks instead of her sports skills. As the picture spread, people on the internet began to treat Stoke like an item. For people who didn't know her for her sporting skills, she was just another pretty face. Stock was backed up by people who liked how good she was at pole vaulting. It was bad that CBS showed her story on TV, because it showed how dangerous it can be for teens to be sexualized in public online. Even though she was getting mean comments online, Allison was determined to focus on her love of sports and not let the bad comments bother her. She kept working out hard and doing well in her sports. Showing herself and those who didn't like her that she was more than just a pretty face. As you'll see though, this was hard enough. The sudden rise in her online fame made it harder for her to focus on pole vaulting. It was harder than she thought to deal with the unwanted attention that comes with being famous on the internet. At first, Stock tried to handle things on her own, but she knew something had to change. After getting a lot of emails and requests for picture shoots, she finally hired a media consultant to help her deal with her newfound fame. The interview she did about the pole vaulting method was put on YouTube and has since been watched over 100,000 times. But most of the online talk and opinions were still about how she looked, and some of them were getting even worse. When she was young, her lawyer father began searching the internet for evidence of crimes or stalkers. Then something awful took place. The state of her mind and emotions started to get worse. This makes Stock feel really low, even if it's not against the law, she told the Washington Post about her situation. 
It's almost like it doesn't matter how hard I worked at pole vaulting and all the other things. That's not seen by anyone. She also said, nobody really sees me. People didn't seem to care about Alison Stokes' concerns, which led to questions about how private photos should be used. There is no way to avoid the media's role in keeping the debate going. According to Der Spiegel, Stoke has become a sex symbol by accident. The attention had an effect on her mood. The staring made her feel creepy and a little scared, so she started locking doors after her. Her athletic achievements were overwhelmed by the constant attention and talk about how she looked, but the attention gave her chances she might not have had otherwise. Multiple endorsement offers came her way and she was asked to appear on major TV shows. A lot of people followed her on social media as well. After people kept talking about how pretty she was, she did something brave. Allison did something and claimed control over her story. Her story went from being a victim, being bullied, and being harassed to being strong, empowered, resilient, brave, and determined in the face of trouble. As Allison Stroka became more well-known, more and more photographers started to come to her events. Since then, she's become more well-known on the internet, and her fan base has grown. College coaches were interested in her because of how well she did in high school. Then, a big step forward happened, and it wasn't the picture's fault. She got a scholarship to play sports at the college level at the University of California, Berkeley. Because of her grant, she was able to study sociology and keep competing in pole vault. In college, she joined the track team and started running for the California Golden Bears. Soon, she started setting records. In her first year on the team, she set the school record for a freshman athlete with a vault of 4.11 meters, both inside and outside. In that year, she competed in regional events for the Pac-10 Conference, the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation, and the NPSF. In her second year, Stoke did even better. In Sacramento, California, she grew to a height of 4.21 meters. Scott Slover, a coach at Cal and a five-time All-American at UCLA, was paying close attention to her play. Her first track and field meet was the National Collegiate Athletic Association, NC Delay Women's Division I Outdoor Track and Field Championships. With a best distance of 3.90 meters, she came in 19th. She came in 8th place at the Pac-10 Championships and 7th place at the NPSF Indoor Championships as well. In her third year at Berkeley, she focused on her studies and was praised by the U.S. Government for doing well in school. The Pac-10 and MPSF conferences, the Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association, and the Academic Honorable Mention list all gave her high marks in school. However, Allison didn't always set new records. When she ran track and field, things were not always easy for her. A few bad things happened to her. In her last year of college, she wasn't vaulting as well as she could have been. At the Pac-10 Championships, she came in eighth, and at the regional, she missed making it to the NCAA Championships by two spots. Still, Stoke came in ninth place at the 2011 NCAA Indoor Championships at Texas A&M, where she made the All-American list with a 4.10-meter jump on her first try. Then, after her loss, she had some more sweet wins. At the 2011 NCAA Indoor Championships, she was named an All-American. All of her academic successes at the regional level were recognized, and she also did well in sports. She was also named MVP for her great work on the track team. Then Stoke got some good news. She has been chosen to compete for the United States in world events. Her hard work and commitment finally paid off. There was, however, a situation that had a big effect on Allison. For example, when she tried to make the American Olympic team in 2012 after getting her degree, she wasn't tall enough as one of the 12 individuals competing. Then the same thing took place at the London Olympics in 2012. Because she was too tall, she wasn't able to fight at the highest levels. Even though it was sad, she kept playing the sport she loved. So, after getting hurt at the Olympics, her best jumps were 4.20 meters in 2013 and 3.95 meters the next year. They weren't where she usually is, but she kept going and got better. Even though it was better, her best jump of 4.15 meters in 2015 did not put her in the top 30 American women at the National Pole Vault Summit that year. For a long time, Stock kept competing in national level events even though she wasn't very high in the results. With a height of 4.15 meters, her best finish at the Chula Vista OTC High Performance Meet in 2016 was seventh. The next year, she got taller to 4.27 meters and came in third at the Austin Longhorn Invitational. Even so, Allison stayed strong and worked hard to improve her skills. She kept working hard at training. In order to reach her ultimate goal of playing in the Olympics, she is pushing herself to new heights. She worked hard at both school and sports, which made her stand out from her friends and earned her the respect and admiration of both her teammates and teachers. Though Allison is very good at sports, she also has a life outside of sports. She got a lot of things, including modeling offers because of how beautiful she was and how quickly her pictures went viral. 
So after college, she worked as a model for clothing. Allison worked with well-known brands and was in ads for both Nike and Athleta that showed off their clothing lines. She has become well-known in the modeling world thanks to her striking good looks and fit body. Aside from her work with Nike and Athleta, Allison has been in magazines like Vogue and Sports Illustrated. Many brands and publications want to use her as a model because she can combine her looks with her skills. She got more modeling work when she worked with Uniqlo, a global clothes brand known for its simple designs. Allison worked together with GoPro as well. She talked about pole vaulting in a YouTube vlog series while showing off the camera feature of their product. In order to show off how the sport works, she started putting out videos of herself vaulting high while wearing a camera. As of 2016, these movies have been watched over 6 million times on YouTube. Allison found love outside of track with a golfer named Ricky Fowler. Their story is a sweet one about love and sports. Allison Stoke and Ricky Fowler work well together. Things didn't go as planned for Ricky and Allison when they met in 2017. Rick Utica Fowler, better known as Ricky Fowler, is an American professional golfer who was born December 13, 1988. He plays on the PGA Tour. Ricky has competed in major titles and PGA Tour events. He is known for his unique style, which includes his signature orange suit. Before he turned pro, he was the best amateur boxer in the world for 36 weeks in 2007 and 2008. He became a fan favorite because he was nice and played fair. His way of self-teaching and unwavering dedication led to amazing results during his amateur career. The skilled American player has left his mark on the greens, but it took him a lot of work to get there. Fowler won his first college race when he won the Olympia Fields on his second try. He was a student at Oklahoma State University. It's interesting that he was on the American team that won the Walker Cup in 2007. Because of how talented and determined he was, he won both solo and team titles. When Fowler turned pro in 2009, he joined the PGA Tour. Some of the best parts of his career are the two wins on the European Tour and the six wins on the PGA Tour. After winning the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship in 2016, he shot to fourth place in the official World Golf Ranking, which was the highest spot of his career. In 2018, he came in second place at the Masters Tournament, which was one of his best major title scores. The year 2018 wasn't just about his amazing shows. He did something very important there in his life. When they started dating Fowler, their relationship grew because they liked the same things, found each other funny, and respected each other. Then, around June 2018, Ricky decided to take their relationship to the next level by proposing to Allison. Then they went even further when they got married in October 2019. There were many happy people at their wedding, making it even more special. When they gave birth to their daughter in November 2021, they made their family even cuter. Their journey together has been full of love, laughter, and a huge number of special moments. Ricky and Allison continue to support each other and love the family they have built as they become parents. They will always be devoted to each other and their daughter, and their future together is full of exciting opportunities. A lot of fans want to know where Allison Stoke is because she seems to be having an adventure. Allison Stock became famous on social media after she stopped professional vaulting. Her story shows how to be strong, talented, and deal with the complicated side of fame. She is now one of the best athletes in the world because of how well she does in her sport. She also uses her fame to support female athletes and promote body positivity. She now talks about the picture that made her famous as if it were separate from her. She says that over the years, she has been able to separate herself from what happened. In 2019, a few years ago, she said that she still works in Phoenix with a new coach. She was never down about not making it to the Olympics, even though she failed. She kept going instead, hoping that one day she could fulfill her lifelong dream of representing her country at the game. Many people look up to Allison Stokes' story because it shows that with hard work and drive, anyone can get through anything and become great. At a young age, she has had to deal with a lot of attention and objectification from the public. However, she has shown amazing strength and determination by following her love for pole vaulting. Her job as a pole vaulter is still going strong, even though she isn't competing in national events anymore. There are times when she's not doing these things. Those times are spent with her family or modeling for sports brands.